hello, um, this is Steven from Simstone and uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, Chromium Portal demo data installation, this one you see in front of you, with the, the filter on the home page. So um, recently there have been a lot of trouble with this filter so I decided to make this assisting video to make it easier for you to deal with this issue. Okay, so um, the typical situation looks like this. You you activate a theme, uh, a typical client activates a theme, and then you go to import demo data, then hit import. It's right here. And so what happens after a while is demo data imports but the filter doesn't appear and you know this becomes a trouble and although we have written instructions they don't seem to be effective enough so we'll have to revise them and at the moment I'll just make this video uh, as a temporary assisting material for you and then later I'll make a better video and, and better written materials and we're also probably gonna work more on the import process to make it smoother and you know, we'll, we'll have to spend a lot of time experimenting and, and finding the right way because um, you know it doesn't like the new theme the updated theme should not conflict with the old theme to not cause any trouble for people who are already using this demo so you know that, that will probably take some time Anyway, this video should help you deal with the particular issue with the front page um, filter. So as you can see, I'm, I'm using a very simple hosting uh, for, as my testing site. So uh, it, like demo import process, uh, takes quite a while, but hopefully it will be over any minute now, any moment now. Okay, finally our demo import has been accomplished. As you can see, there are some warnings about some <coughs> some uh, taxonomy terms that haven't been imported. Uh, okay, I forgot to mention that yeah, after the theme has been installed, we had to install all the recommended plugins that come with it. As you can see, all the recommended plugins have been installed. Um, so here's what we get on the home page here and uh, right so as you can see there is just a short code well this means that most likely the woof plugin WooCommerce products filter plugin that is bundled with the theme it's a paid version of the plugin but you get it for free with our theme um, is not there it's not installed so what you need to do is you need to go to our support portal and create a ticket and request this plugin we can't include it in the package because of license limitations and uh, mm, you know I wish we could but at the moment we cannot uh, because of the Envato regulations so we have to comply <clears throat> so you need to go to themestone.freshdesk.com and create a ticket request in the plugin provide your purchase code and you'll get the plugin so once you get the plugin you download it to your computer you need to go to plugins install plugins and or, or just add new and uh, then <coughs> you need to upload the plugin right here at the top upload the plugin choose it and choose that zip file on your computer that you downloaded and then press install now so after we install the plugin, we need to activate it. So right now it's being installed and you know it will tell us that the plugin has been installed and then it will give us an option to activate it. Okay, 
So we go ahead and activate the plugin. Okay, now the plugin has been installed and activated. Here's how it looks. Now let's go to the front page and see how it changes. <coughs> okay, so this um, this is the, the other stage of the issue. So we actually have the plugin working, but there is no filter. Now we need to create a taxonomy. It's a vehicle's taxonomy because if you look at the um, at the short code here on the home page, you will see that it refers to vehicle's taxonomy. So we need to create a taxonomy with the name vehicles. Okay, as you can see, here is the short code and it, it points to the taxonomy vehicles. So what we need to do is we need to go here to WCK WooCommerce taxonomy creator, you know, plugin, go to taxonomy creator and create a taxonomy. So the name has to be vehicles or whatever if, if you you can choose any other name um, but uh, you'll have to change it in the short code as well so we put vehicles then we put vehicle vehicles it's a product and it's a uh, hierarchical so we put true here we do not need to rewrite slug slug and uh, we hit the add entry now we created a taxonomy now we have to populate this taxonomy with terms. So we go to product, vehicles. That's our new taxonomy we created. Need to populate it. Uh, we're not going to populate it as much as we have it on the demo because you know it's unnecessary. So you can well, let's just create a couple of test uh, taxonomies. So let's say it's a Kia, and I mean I'm I don't know much about uh, the, the lineup of the cars, but uh, so I'm just taking it from my hand. So let's say it's Kia. So we. Uh, as you can see, like um, on the demo, we have the first is the maker, the first drop down of the filter, then it's the second drop down is modal, and the third drop down is year. Okay, so we're creating a the first maker now. Okay, it's Kia, <clears throat> and let's create. Uh, a second. Uh, uh, second taxonomy term uh, let it be Renault okay so we have two top level um, taxonomies in the hierarchy they they stand for the maker so now we need to add modal Models. Uh, so, like for Kia, let's add Rio. That's a very popular, cheap model. Um, and let's add um, Sportage. That's also a very popular, uh, inexpensive model. Sportage, okay. Now, for each of these, for Kia Rio and for Kia Sportage, we need to add years like years of production <clears throat> because like if we're selling parts for them a year may be important here so we put say 2005 for 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 Rio and um, I don't know 2019 for Rio and maybe 2020 okay and we can actually give the same years to or, or some other years it doesn't really matter for Sportage because they will be different terms anyway but we can call it the same name so <clears throat> for Sportage let's say we also give 2005 and then 2019 and 2020 and let's jump into the future and give 2025 okay we are confident in this model. So as you can see, they are different terms and they have different URLs. So if we compare these 2020, as you can see down there, it 
uh, uh, down at the left bottom corner <coughs> you can see the URL is 2020 sportage and here the URL is 2020 so the first one we created gets the the best URI it just gets 2020 and once we create a taxonomy term with the same name it gets a parent category uh, added there so you know there is no confusion and each URL becomes you know remains unique for Reno we can create the same um, thing uh, like uh, I don't know Reno Logan let's say it's a popular cheap model for like for third world countries I believe but I think they have a lot of them in, in Europe and countries like France as well so uh, let's say it's Logan and um, uh, traffic I guess something like that uh, this, uh, and again we can add years for each of these so for Logan let's add 2006 and then uh, let's suppose there was a restyling in 2009 and there is uh, 2018 okay something like this and for traffic we cannot just leave it no years for traffic uh, let's suppose there are no years for traffic <clears throat> but like, like let's take a look at our home page and the, the filter is still not working because these taxonomy terms are not populated there are no products assigned so what we need to do is we need to go to products all products uh, and in this case we can just select one of our demo products and just go ahead and assign it to each and every of those terms we created so they all appear in the filter so we go to edit right here <coughs> and we just assign it to everything here's our taxonomy we created no yeah here and we just go ahead and just click on everything and then we hit update but our filter is still not going to work because we need to set the settings so this is the final part we go to settings WooCommerce settings <clears throat> and we go to products filter okay it loads um, now we need like right here we need to go first of all we need to go to extensions and enable hierarchy drop-down extension because this is what we need <clears throat> after that we need to go here and make sure like the advanced uh, tab there is no any weird symbols here because sometimes sometimes weird symbols errors uh, some sort of warnings will get here and this will totally devastate the plugging and sabotage its work. Okay, kitty cat, say hello to the audience. Okay, bye. I'm sorry, my, my cat wants some attention, but I'm busy. Um, so now, here in the design tab, we don't really need anything. And we need to go to the options tab and yeah basically it's yeah it's all set let's return to the structure check the vehicle's taxonomy because that's what we're gonna use then select the hierarchy drop down from the drop down uh, you can save changes already <clears throat> it doesn't hurt to save changes to save changes once in a while then you need to go to additional options <clears throat> and here is like um, this is the recommended settings we give but you can experiment with that so show chain always we set to yes so there is always three uh, drop downs and it looks better 
uh, and then um, taxonomy custom label make plus model plus year but you can put whatever you want instead of those words and just separate them with pluses and and then hit apply and save changes and uh, yeah at this moment our filter should already be working and yes it is working as you can see so here's our Reno, the one we created we select it and then it loads the hierarchy so here is our traffic it as you can see it doesn't have any years so <clears throat> it, it, it will work like this and if we select Logan it will give us an option to select the years we created we create uh, we select it and then we press filter and it shows us the product that corresponds to this um, line of uh, attributes and yeah this is it okay so thank you for attention and please be sure to ask questions if you have any uh, create a ticket at themezone.fresh-.com and we'll be glad to help